Alright, I'm showing you all the process of how I'm breaking down these massive 75 pound parking lot lights. I'm going to do three of them because there's quite a few. I do three at a time because I can fit them on the back of the trailer. And uh, yeah, they go pretty quick. But I like to kind of do the assembly line and find the size nut that I want to start with and then do all those and then switch to the other, do all those. Uh, makes everything go by real quick instead of trying to sit here doing one at a time. Going from three fourths to five sixteenths to three fourths to five sixteenths to quarter inch to Phillips to this to that to that. Do it all at once. Really, what I would love to do is set out all 20 of these lights in a row, but I don't want to get screws all over the ground. But set them all out in a row, do 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 do, do assembly line them all. But uh, for sake of getting screws in my tires, I want to keep them on the trailer so. Anyway, all I like to do is start by removing these big brackets. Do that, and then you get three fourths. careful because these are sometimes under tension don't get your fingers close to that because it'll snap out real quick not all the time but it does happen and uh, it hurts don't get your hands in here either because it could do the same thing And I've got some people that want these brackets, but I'm going to separate this bracket from this one and keep the nuts together just in case they want to put it together. Uh, yeah. nuts for it I'll uh, sell them for ten dollars a piece knowing full well that they're worth more than that but strap value I'd get far less I'd get nine cents a pound and that is about five pounds so I'd probably only get like 50 cents for it so I'll sell them for ten bucks when really at the store those things are probably 40 50 bucks I could be wrong but I think that's what they're I don't really have to take them out all the way to get that out, which is nice.
I get number one insulated for that, which is uh, really good because a lot of yards have five or six categories for wire. But as long as I cut the ends off of this, even though it's extension wire, I get number one for it. About, uh, I'd say now with copper going up, it's probably close to $2 a pound. Now, we're gonna take the glass panel off and the panel that holds the transformer. Which is real easy, 5 sixteenths on that. sold the McDonald's sign yesterday, one of them for a hundred bucks. Uh, the guy wants another one if I can get the panels for it. There's one that has no panels, one that only has one panel. Uh, but it's a McDonald's drive through sign. Easy hundred dollars, right? Easy peasy. That's cool. Yeah. Crazy what stuff I come across that people want. Oh yeah. Okay, yeah, Evelyn went inside to watch the iPad. Switching to quarter inch to take these glass panels out. out they're only held in by a little bit of glue so we got clean cast and some glass we got to dispose of
wash that glass out. Glasses, but safety first. So you could, and I sometimes do recover these. These are brass. Um, but I like to go for the the socket that it goes into because it's much easier and you don't have to break the porcelain out. If you send it just like that, if you cut it out, be careful because this is under pressure. Uh, you can send it as brass breakage or dirty brass or whatever. And this style light is a sodium vapor, I believe. Uh, well, it says it contains mercury, but these usually glow orange, this style, long and skinny. Uh, when you get the bulb type, those are mercury vapor. There's a little bead of mercury in that inner core. Usually you can shake it around and see it. You can't see it on the camera, I don't think. But there's a little bead in there. I can see it rolling around. You can probably see, yeah, you can see it. See it shining in there? That'll vaporize and turn a blue color. The sodium lights are an orangish, orangish color. Those are perfectly good bulbs, but I just don't have an avenue of selling them. Plus, I'd have hundreds of them piled up, so I uh, dispose of them to the proper place. So now, we'll recover a little dirty sheet. And uh, if you want to get clean sheet, all you got to do is take these nuts off which I will do, but I'm not going to do them all right now. Sometimes those don't want to come out. That's a little bracket, steel bracket. And then uh, it's hard to get those out, so I'm, I'll give it a shot later. It's got a, there's no nut on it, so you got to go from the inside and you got to have T20 torques looks like I don't even know that's a yep t20 torque so what I do is I just snip the wire off the end you can send it like this for dirty aluminum which is not too bad if I get like 20 cents a pound on dirty or 30 cents a pound on dirty 50 cents a pound on clean so yes it is worth it just to take that little bit off if you can all right so now we got the panel that holds the transformer ballast whatever you want to call it i call it transformer people call it ballast the grounding wires need to be snipped they're held up with a little screw in the bottom It was a 30 pound transformer that just flipped that up into my boob. My nipple just got ripped off. Oh, God, that hurt. Anyways, we'll move the transformer back there for a second. We'll get all of them out. And I'll show you how I prepare those for breaking down and recovering the copper if there is copper. And I'll show you real quick how I check. Again, once I get all these laid out. Oh, God, Teddy. These weighed, I weighed them earlier. 
30 pounds exactly. No weight, weight. So you're allowed you're allowed three percent thirty on cast, I believe. It may be more than that. Uh, but there's a little, there's two chains in here that are held in with a screw. I'm just gonna take those out. I don't want them giving me a hard time. And uh, there is these big bolts. I've already taken a few of them out the other ones, but I think I'm going to leave those in. Again, those don't weigh much compared to the whole case. So it should be well within the 3% allowed. places say you can get up to like 10 15 percent dirty on the cast but if it's sheet i think you're only allowed maybe one or two percent they really don't want to see any screws at all i mean maybe if you have one one little screw in something they'll let it slide but it like extruded aluminum i don't know if there's a percentage that they allow on that but i know for a fact that they see even one screw in a whole pile of it they'll tell you they'll downgrade it unless you remove it. So, extruded, I always try to clean up to the best I can, because that's the highest price aluminum right now. So, I broke down some of these yesterday. I haven't checked the transformers. Um, there's so far that I've seen two types that have come out of these. But they're mostly this type, massive. I think it's a thousand watt because the bulbs are labeled a thousand watt. Let's look at this one. These are just these are a lot bigger than a normal thousand watt. They almost look like hundreds. Um, let me grab another one that's a thousand watt. Let's check the size. They really do look a lot bigger. And then I'll we'll grab a couple different size ones done this before in other videos just to show the difference in the transformers you'll come across and who knows you might find bigger ones than these that can have lights on smaller ones they go all the way down to like 150 watts i think for the parking lot lights so here we go so here's one that had a 400 watt it also had a 400 watt bowl We'll go ahead and remove these and do a size comparison. And at the same time, we'll check to see if they're copper coils, which is what we're hoping for. A lot of times nowadays, when you get parking lot lights, they'll have a new ballast in it or a transformer. It'll look the same pretty much, but it'll have one big coil, one small coil. Guess which one's copper? The small one. And the big one's usually always aluminum. But if you find the original lights like these, these look like original ballast. These are double copper. Awesome stuff, because there's like five or six pounds in these. And uh, at the current price, I get $3 a pound. So out of each ballast, I get $15 in just the copper. So if you add up all the stuff from the light, the heavy cast, uh, the steel, the wire that comes out, you're probably getting 20 to $25 of value, scrap value, out of uh, each one of these parking lot lights. They all vary. Some of them are very light sheet. These just happen to be really nice, heavy cast. And usually with the nicer, heavy cast ones, you get double copper trim. So... Uh, with this wire, I get all these little ends off. I'll do one on video, show you how I do it. I just twist them off. If they don't want to twist off, I grab them with a uh, pair of cutters. I don't slice through it, I just hold it still. It helps keep the wire nice and snug while you unscrew that cap, the end cap. Okay, so 
We got all those out. I'll snip this little uh, connector off. And again, this wire, as long as I snip off all the excess crap, um, I get number one insulated, which to me, this is number two insulated, but they say at this yard that I go to cut all the ends off and you'll get number one. Romex goes as number one. Isn't that crazy? Romex, this wire, which is obviously number two, uh, extension wire, they say number one. Okay, sure. What? I can't hear you. They're over there. So here we go. Here's the ones that are coming out of these lights. They say a thousand watts, so I'll believe it. Um, even though they look bigger than a thousand watt. Here's another thousand watt out of a different light. They're kind of similar in size. Nope. There you go. You can see the difference now. I'll line that up there. And there's an extra inch or two on that. So guarantee you this one weighs 30 pounds. This one weighs probably 25 or 22. Then we got the 400 watt, which is that size, a little smaller. I guess you can see the height difference. And then uh, here's some out of some real small lights. These are 250. Five watt, four hundred, and uh, one thousand. So I like to check the coils with a file. If there's any copper in any of the coils, sometimes you'll have an aluminum coil with a copper core on the inside that you can't see. Always check your coils, even on the inside of that coil. Like uh, here we go. Oh, holy. Here's your coils once they come out of those transformers. Everybody scratches them on the outside because that's where you can see the copper and you can scratch it. But in the inside, sometimes there's copper even though the outside's aluminum. Always check. So anyways, these big ones are double copper. The 400 watt one that I found in these is Copper and copper, double copper. Awesome, man. These lights that I've been getting from this company, pretty much all of them are double copper, and that is crazy. But yeah, we'll break all these down. We'll add it to the uh, pile. And we'll have a big scrap run come next week. Uh, more lights to come. They said there's like 600 lights with this job, multiple locations. Uh, so we're here to pick them up. Appreciate y'all stopping by and we'll see you in the next one.